Assalamu alaikum. Um, in this video, I just want to talk a little bit about my bipolar diagnosis. Now you might hear me ramble, you might hear me, maybe you see something that might not make sense. That's just part of my bipolar, so please no judgment or hate. So a part of my bipolar, I was diagnosed last year and I kept getting like a change of diagnosis from bipolar 1 to bipolar 2 back to a mood disorder um, I didn't really say which one back to bipolar and then last week I met with one of my doctors oh we can't help you because you might be like a schizoaffective and then I met with another psychiatrist today a new one and now it's back to bipolar oh we will watch for a schizoaffective if you, um, we have to like, they have to watch for a few weeks or whatnot. So it's just been like a constant battle on what my diagnosis is, and it's been like very hard on me. So when I have my episodes um, with my bipolar, I get very manic. Um, there are times when like I will literally feel like. I have no control over my body. I have no control over the things I do. And it feels like someone is like inside of me, um, like controlling me. That's how I really feel. And I will hear things like telling me how like Allah hates me. I'm literally, like I am literally, <laughs> I can never say that word right. Literally, um, like the devil that she thought and it feels like I start to believe it and I will take my scarf off and it's like I can't control it and then when I feel that like regret um, um, what do you say <laughs> regret guilt guilty um, all that I put my scarf back on and it's like I can't control not doing that and I feel like something is controlling me in a way and then there are times where I just hear like a silent screaming inside my head and it like today um, I told like the psychiatrist it's like I feel like the screaming is my own voice trying to get out and I don't know why that is I know that might sound so dumb but like that's how it is for me and when I'm manic as well, like, I spend a lot of money on things I don't need, and it's just overall horrible. I would not wish this on anyone. Sorry, my phone, like, overheated. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's like, I kind of wish I knew, like, sooner, and I could have got the help I needed if it does run in the family or something, you know? And, I don't know. I just like want answers and I want something that can really help me you know I am trying to pray um, I kind of force myself to get up because it was it is really hard when you're manic and when you're really depressed to get up and pray um, I've had the struggle because I feel like my prayers won't be accepted because I'm bipolar um, that's just how I think um, so the past like maybe a week I've been praying I got up I prayed to Father and I've been praying um, a lot more than what I am used to and alhamdulillah and you know I've had like my scarf on and off this Ramadan and um, when it was the night of power I didn't even know it was the night of power because I haven't been fasting because I've been like manic, but um, like one of the doula came on um, and I started crying. I was pouring my eyes out, like crying, like for Allah's help and guidance. And then something just like came over me again, like to put my um, scarf on, and I did. I don't consider myself a hijabi, let me say that. Just because I am struggling and I do have these episodes, but you know, inshallah, once I get on the right medication and things and I can try to control um, that behavior, I do. Inshallah, I'll call myself a hijabi again. But 
something just made me like put on the hijab again and I know during the like you know the night of power it's when like they say the angels come down and you know you ask Allah for help and I was like crying to Allah like help me help me please help me with my hijab help me get close to you help me with this illness like I need help and it was that same night and I kind of think like you know it's a sign from Allah that you know he that Allah is um sorry <laughs> that Allah is hearing me listening to me maybe you know that Allah hears me and hears my pain and hears my struggle and slowly like he Allah will help me you know <laughs> I keep saying he I'm sorry so yeah I really hope that I do get the help and I hope that things just get better for me. Um, yeah, I just want to really get closer to my faith, like how I was before. Um, I started struggling with my bipolar and things like that. You know, I, I miss who I was like back then. And it's really hard. I just don't think there's a lot of support and then like you know I really try to like make friends with people but it's just like there's a lot of people who I just can't be friends with because I feel like and this is no judgment at all but I feel if people are doing certain things around me it affects my mental health mentally and I just can't be around people who like I don't want to say like them doing haram it might be not haram for them like you know in the religion or their views are different from mine but if I feel someone or something is like affects me mentally and I could get into it by pressure or um, just because I'm not in the right state of mind like I can't associate with like that person or maybe those kind of people it's so hard in our community to make friends that are like very genuine and will understand like what you're going through and your illness. It's very hard. I'm just I don't know. So I'm I'm gonna end it here just because I feel like I'm rambling and I'm not on my medication yet. So I feel like I'm jumping from topic to topic right now. I don't know if this video is even gonna make sense, but inshallah, hopefully <laughs> it does. Um, but yeah, please subscribe if you want to follow my journey with my mental illness and my hijab journey. I i don't know what to call it, but even a journey, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, please subscribe and I'm praying for all of you if you're watching, if you're struggling with mental health, mental illness, if you're in my prayers. And please pray for me that I overcome this as well. Assalamu alaikum.